There's no question he's here. Keep your eyes open. What the? Tag him and tag him. Get the hell out of here. Forgot him for country. Geronimo, Geronimo, Geronimo. You're not looking so good. Bravo, you all right? Bravo, what's going on? You okay? What's going on back there? Stand down! Stand down, soldier! Ah! Hold your fire! Hold your fire! Stay with it! 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 كيف يكون هذا هو ممكن؟ معجزة الحمد لله. 
عشان ندفع اي كمية تمام يلا وصلنا وقتنا يا اخوان على يسمى صلاتنا الحمد لله ويوكب على المشاكرين بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم يتغير المد والشمس تغرب على الغرب تنثر الحرب الغربي على ارض الله تسلمنا نحن ولكن الان الان سينزف الامريكيين الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر الله اكبر What's up, Doc? What? What do you mean, what's up? Nice, Doc. Five minute mile in full gear. I was being chased. How many? To be honest, Captain, didn't get an accurate head count. So I was running for my life. DC, get some eyes on. Odds aren't terrible. What does that mean exactly? It means you'll have plenty of chance to use that. Be more specific, Lieutenant. I'd say four to one, roughly 100 meters, closing fast. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> Are you serious? What? It's hot out. It could be snowing and you'd be hot. That's a terrible pickup line, but yes, I will go out with you. Leave me, Chippendale. I mean everything else out here. Juliet 6-4, Juliet 6-4, this is Juliet 2-5, over. Why aren't there any Walmarts in Afghanistan? Yeah, hell. Why? Because there's targets on every corner. <laughs> Go ahead, 2-5. 6-4, this 2-5, we have 20 Class D hostiles moving to our position. Request authority to engage, over. Affirmative. Predator ETA, two minutes. Roger, ISR, two mics out. Look alive, gents. Look alive? Oh, the irony. I make oh. I don't mean you, tomboy. I hate you, Carol! You were a pain in my ass! You just had to have the dog, didn't you? You good here? What do you call a guy with no legs? No arms. What? Matt. You have fallen in with the wrong crap. Your mom warned you about friends like this, right? Say something for me! Fighting zombie insurgents is fine by me. Little help? Killing infected civilians, it makes me sick. You can't kill something that's already dead. Even if I get infected, consider me a goner. And kill this on the bits of my post. Say something for me. Do you like that? Yeah. <laughs> hey, you can't shoot the tip. That was totally mine.
Okay. Status of the captain. God rest his soul. Permanently, I hope. It certainly takes fun out of things, doesn't it? Captain's wearing the comms gear and radio. So if we bar in that regard. Swing low, sweet chair. Now is not the time. We have 72 hours until showtime. I say we proceed as planned. Any bites, scratches, blood intake, etc. <laughs> I guess you only live once, right? Or twice. You know we can't let that happen. Tell Satan I love him. Rottweiler. Hell, <sighs> carpe diem. Semper Fi and all that other crap. I'm sorry, Hank. Yeah. How much time we got? Yeah, an archery. Five minutes. Tops. Let's get this show on the road. Who's gonna do this? Jeffo? Sorry, amigo. DC chip, I'm thinking a number between one and a hundred. Sorry, man. I'm only killing the undead right now, buddy. Joke. Rock, paper, scissors. All right. But if I win, you gotta figure it out yourself. Fair enough. One, two, three. Rock, paper, scissors. Two out of three. <laughs> Why does everybody think that's part of the game? Come on, two out of three. One, two. I'll do it. Figured you'd do the same for me. Thanks. I'm not gonna watch. Finish the mission. Whatever's going down, the brass feels it's too big. Find the militia camp, stop the broadcast, and send as many of these things as you can back to hell. Make it count. Can, it's Asif. I didn't say Asif. How do you say it? Asif. Asif. But here. <laughs> Good enough, right? I'm you sorry. Are. Did you hear that? No, Samarati. It's not a good idea. No. You know what, you're right. I'm sorry, you think after a couple weeks here, I wouldn't be so jumpy. So these are the, the mountains of the Rajasthan Desert? 
Tell you what. Yeah. Still on the side of Derek. Not to worry. We'll find your brother. Thank you, SC. Yeah. When the embassy went and helped me, I didn't know what I was going to do. Malish. Mm. I'm happy you're here. You heard it that time, right? Nothing to be afraid of. Help me, my friend's been hurt. You see this? because I will not get past one. You right? Yeah. That hit the vest. It hit the vest, you did. Perimeter is static for 50 meters. Anything beyond that is anyone's guess. Everyone keep your ears on. <laughs> I think I killed my guy. Once he was bitten, he was already dead. If anything, you did him a favor. Yes, sir. Yes. He's gonna be fine. Doesn't mean it hurts any less. Believe it or not, he was wearing his vest. It's a Christmas miracle. Ask him leave, Mark. You should be dead. Who are you? What are you doing out here? You take a wrong turn at the trailhead in India? My name is Dusty Miller. Pleased to meet you in one piece. These things take corner. My bad. I'm not sure if you're fully aware of what we're dealing with here, but if you so much as get a scratch from one of these things, you're dead. Might not be a bad idea if I check you out. What? Scratches and bites. Your safety and ours. Your chivalry is overwhelming, Chip. If anyone's going to be checking her out, it'll be Tomboy. Now remind me. Who are you? And what are you doing out here in the middle of BFA? I'm trying to find my brother, Derek Miller. And he is, or was. He is trying to end the war on terror. Well, cheese and rice. A gosh darn freedom fighter! Let me guess. Business went up in flames back home, blamed it on the war, decided to solve the world's problems all on his own. Probably bought a couple of cheap weapons. Maybe a sword. And tried to grow a beard. You know, to fit in. Definitely a beard. Probably still thinks Bin Laden's alive. All right, listen up. Because we'll have our house guest here. Let's solidify the perimeter and hold up for the night. This place is as good as any. Zombies. Must not have eaten for a while. What do we have here? I want to start thinking in terms of agua. 
My map says there's water maybe a mile out. Let me see. Yeah. This is good as us. Yeah, yours probably cost about a half million dollars. Close. You see, Chip, you guys want to hump ahead. Make sure we're not walking into an ambush. Roger that. Copy. See you, boys. So, um, what's going on here? Do you want to be a bit more specific? Oh. Okay, uh, how about the Walking Dead to begin with? Some run. That's classified. Oh, I, I think your secret is safe with me, considering none of us are probably going to make it out of here alive. She's got a point. Speak for yourself, Jaffo. I plan on living in a living sort of way. Um, isn't El Chapo the name of a Mexican drug lord? Isn't dusty an adjective for something covered in dust? I wasn't trying to be rude. That's better than Mieta Cabeza. <laughs> you got one, you got one. Oh, you got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> You can slow, slow. Get a little soft. It's <laughs> not what your mom said. My mom's dead, man. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. She lives in Toledo. Suck it. <laughs> you know, can you at least tell me where we're going? Classified. From the outside looking at it, it seems like everything's so classified. None of you have any idea what you're doing. What does your brother know about Bin Laden? Well, uh, for starters, he doesn't think he was thrown to sea. He's wrong. Well, he also thinks he's still alive, and after what I saw last night, he can't be too far off. What aren't you guys telling me? After the 9-11 attacks, Bush pledged to end the war on terror by providing increased weapon transfers to all countries willing to join America in the fight. Enter Godsmack. Godsmack was a biological agent used to push the militants out from the high ground. It was designed to contaminate the natural water resources, thereby forcing the militants out of hiding. Everything was going as planned. Until small man syndrome kicked in from one of the pissant countries we sold this stuff to. Every country has its Napoleon. Who's ours? Well, there's Bill Bonaparte, George Bonaparte, both George Bonapartes. Cuidado. Those are the kind of guys that sign our checks. And there's Barack Bonaparte. That one actually has a nice ring to it. In order to increase its resale value, someone was bulking the formula by adding other biological agents to make a sort of biochemical cocktail. And the combination had, let's say, unexpected results. It went from being a relatively harmless nauseant that temporarily contaminated the water to an active carcinogen that create acute biological mutations. But acute biological mutations as in the living dead? Give that woman a prize. As far as we know, the pathogen is region lies. Most of the outside world has no clue. Yeah, for now. If it's anything like Facebook, it'll be in Panama by next week. I love Facebook. <laughs> we know it's an aggressive contagion. And as far as we know, it can only be transferred by direct exchange of bodily fluids. Could you be a little more specific on fluids, Doc? Blood. Unless you want to do your own research. I'll pass. The Department of Defense has been monitoring a militia camp for months. Something big is going down in less than 48 hours. The detail is sketchy, but intel suggests it's going to be some heavy hitters. Do you think the are still alive? It's not on our pay grade to even ask. Minimum. Plus time and a half on weekends. And I'm super happy about that. But it could be, right? We've all considered it. Uh, how are they dealing with the undead? I mean, they don't seem too manageable. They might be using them. For what? For every few militants we wipe out, they get a few of ours. Remember, there were several hundred thousand NATO boys and girls occupying this hellhole not too long ago. But after somebody farted under the covers, the slumber party was over. Everyone went home in a hurry. Confucius say, men who fought in church must sit in his own pew. No one wanted to risk the spread of the contagion in their own country. So all that's left is a few lucky units of special forces from a few NATO countries. We're American flavor, with a squeeze of limey. So, where's all your support? We lost comms with DOD a day ago. Yeah, this is getting better and better. Well, at least you're not dragging around a civilian chick with a mullet looking for her retarded brother. 
We have a rendezvous point established with overhead in two days. My guess is we'll find the militant stronghold before then. I knew my brother was crazy, but none of this makes any sense. When has terrorism ever made sense? We and a few others are the only thing standing between the people of Afghanistan and a zombie apocalypse. Whether it makes sense to you or not, it's a hell of a mission. One that we all signed up for. Doc, are you guys coming? We found the spring 30 minutes ago. Drop it. Run away. Joker, check this! Hey! Fuck face! Oh, you mean no face. Should be in school or something? Oh. Should call these MRHs. Meals ready to hurl. Got some of the baddest weapons on the planet, and the food still sucks. Hey, Doc. Tomboy. Okay, shifts. DC, you're first. Then Chip, and then Chapo. Doc from DC always gets to go first. Joker and Tomboy will take us till sun up. Circle the perimeter, then rest on the high ground. Everyone else, get your REMs with one eye open. I was only kidding about the body search. Yeah. Are you married? Nope. Girlfriend? A couple. I just usually don't do body searches on a first date. I don't like to always buy them down at first. How long have you been out here? Uh, a couple weeks, including the week it took to get here. You never came across him until last night. I guess I was lucky. Your brother either owes you a lot of money or you must really love him. Yeah, both. You know, in the end, I, I think you end up doing anything for family. Got an uncle never really liked. Probably wouldn't walk his butt across the street. Are you older or younger? I'm younger by a couple years. I don't take this the wrong way because I'm not a psychologist, but uh, your brother fits a profile of a guy who has a couple of tacos short of a combo plate. Well, you're doing the same thing, so what does that make you? Touche. You know, my brother was a firefighter in New York. He was there in 9-11, and... His whole crew died in the collapse of the towers while he was homesick. Wow. Yeah. You know, he never really got over it, and... You know, he always thought of himself as dead already, living on two at a time, and... When they caught Bin Laden, I, I thought... You know, it's finally over, and... But it just got worse. You know, his conspiracy theories, his obsessions, and... I think he just, he wants to kill him himself, you know? That way he knows that he's dead. I just want him home.
Derek. Derek. No. My name is Derek. Derek. Fine. Take it. What are you doing here? I know Herb Hoffa Albalad. I know Herb Osarati. I have no idea what you just said. But I like you. Ooh, ooh, just not the green one. They taste the best. You think Bin Laden's still alive? I was reading some pretty crazy stuff on this website a couple weeks ago. It made the hair on my neck stand up. It's just something's not right. And I won't rest till I know he's dead. And I mean really dead this time. What I've seen, there's a fine line between dead and not so dead. Lieutenant? Where is everyone? Chip? Chip? Chip! Hey, easy. Take it easy. We're on civilian patrol, but it sounds like the fight is getting closer. We'll be packing gun quietly. Okay. Okay. Uh. Just stay close, follow me. That's your family? They look not infected to me. Go get them. So. Can you please check? Thank you. By the way, you sleep through a tornado. I guess they felt secure. You were? Thank us from both sides. How many? 50 plus. 50? I say we can't swap before they reach Jake or a tomboy in the rear. There's Chapo on DC. Chapo's holding the front. DC's in the tree line with Big Mama. Carol! Gonna be for your therapist and for your plastic surgeon. That was your trainer. Whoever else you're sleeping with. Oh my God. Well, it seems like you got things handled. It's me. We stay here, duck down by the rocks. I'm trying to only shoot when you sure is dead already this time. I'm not staying here. You don't listen, do you? Sit, sit by the saw. Holy crap! It's a convention. You have to get to the tree line. Let's move! I haven't seen a group this big since they opened a Walmart in my town. All right. Listen up. We've got about three minutes to regroup before we're lunch. How are we doing on ammo? Big Mama's just warming up. Okay here. Good and plenty. I love this. 
I'm driving my 45 in the clearing. Yeah, I'll drop my rifle too. You guys cover me. I'll get both. That's suicide, Doc. Already dead. I'll get the guns. Wait. That's for getting bit. I was supposed to have your babies. You know he's infected, right? Only by blood. Better hope so. Still holding the grenade. Shoot it! 30 meters! Something we're gonna have to worry about? Well, I left my Flintstone band aids back at base, so this may leave a pretty bad scar. But if you're worried about zombie offspring, don't be. You can still have my babies. This is what you call friendly fire. Well, after reviewing all the intel, which consists of two maps, one of which does not belong to the US Army, I think we're close. Now, how close, I don't know. Based upon our rations, I think we should divide up into two faster moving quieter units. And before we start campaigning or complaining, let's discuss our options. All right, I think first well, I think DC's right. Splitting up increases the chances at least one team making it to the militia camp and completing the mission. Anyone got a better idea? Steak and potatoes at my mama's house. Porcelain toilet. Running water. Willie, will you divide the food rations and the nine meal ammo? Joker, you take the saw and I'll keep Big Mom, unless you want to trade. I got enough monkeys on my back, thanks, though. You guys take the military map. Get out your compasses, because we have zero calm overhead. We are on our own. I'm estimating about a day and a half. Maybe faster if you're humping. Do not, I repeat, do not go so fast that you can't fight when necessary. Ranger training 101. Water resources are highlighted on the map. We'll rendezvous at the objective point in 36 hours. If you do not arrive at or before 36 hours, Rangers, we will expect the worst. We'll be there, one way or the other. Hopefully not the other. 
All right, then. We'll head due south in the opposite direction, but we'll be flanking you for about the last 10 miles. Now, if you're going to get in trouble, do it there. Good? Let's move out. One little, two little, three little zombies. Shoot them in the head and wipe the brains off me. Do you ever think that dead people would be the worst kind of enemy? Dead enemies were always the best kind of enemies. So where's all the zombie crap? What? The zombies obviously extract some kind of nutrients from eating, so... Where's all the poop? Are you serious right now? Unless there's zombies that I haven't seen keeling over from exploded bowels. They're evacuating somewhere. I'll tell you what. Next time we see one, we'll flag him down and check and see if he's wearing a diaper. <laughs> it's great, guys. Maybe they're bulimic. After a delightful meal, it daintily excuses itself, only to return happily for more brains. I'd rather be bulimic than poop my pants. <laughs> Go ahead. So you ever seen Intervention? Yeah, so we're showing TV. There's this one episode where this lady was uh, yakking in Ziploc bags after every meal. Hiding them in her closet. No. Yep. After a hearty meal, she'd go in the bathroom, say hello to her dirty little secret, bag it up in a Ziploc, put it in her closet. And one day, her husband was putting his shoes on, slides his foot into yesterday's lunch, and poof, cat's out of the bag. That's assuming she had cat for lunch. So what happened? Uh, of course, they did an intervention on her with that crazy host lady, you know, the one that could probably use an intervention herself. <laughs> They got her all spilled away. Oh, Where'd they do an intervention on my mom was? Oh, yeah? What for? You remember the little stuffed animal toys, the Beanie Babies? Yeah, I remember those. She had hundreds of them. After she filled up all the bookshelves in the house, she started buying special cabinets to put them in. At first, my dad thought it was a good idea, you know, give her a little hobby. What he didn't know was that there was hundreds more underneath all the beds in the house. So how'd it come to a head? My little sister, she wanted to take one to school for show and tell. She just reached up on the bookshelf. She didn't know what she was bringing down, you know? Turns out it was Patty the Platypus, one of the original nine. Oh, not Patty. My sister comes home from school, takes it out of the backpack, and it's got a little stain on it because all the kids were passing it around at lunch. She goes ballistic. Jeez. So my dad's like, enough's enough. You know, it's either us or the Beanie Babies. To be honest, it took her a little while to decide. <laughs> Nice, dumb boy. Nice. Feel better? Yeah, a little. You check the pants? Who's Carol, anyway? I mean, I, I don't mean to pry, it's just I heard you yelling your name in what seems to be like a. Hateful rage over and over. 
I loved Carol my whole life. Up the verb tense. Loved. Well, maybe you still do. That's why it hurts. Somewhere in the recesses of the heart she ripped out? Doubtful. All Carol does is motivate me to kill things you should already be dead. But you loved her. Well, how could I not? She gave me her juice box when we were in kindergarten. She doesn't seem that bad. She was like a foot taller than me. I mean, she used to make me so nervous my hands would sweat. Maybe she just felt bad for me because I never had enough money for school lunch. You grow up poor? No, I had a Pokemon problem. Mom gave me money for school lunch and I used to spend it on Pokemon cards instead. Carol bought me school lunch every single day all the way up through the eighth grade. Well, she doesn't sound that bad to me. Well, prescription drugs do funny things. I mean, she was so beautiful, she just never saw it. I don't know if it was a screwed up relationship she had with her dad. Man, that guy was a tool. Or maybe some people are just born that way, I don't know, but no matter how many times I told her how beautiful she was, it never sank in. I guess it didn't help I was gone all the time. She knew that going in. Well, according to her therapist, I have all the blame. Yeah, well, next time some raghead decides to park a 747 in the lobby of a 90-story skyscraper, the therapist will be the first on my call list. It wasn't his fault. I mean, the overabundance of crap he was prescribing for didn't help, but the damn plastic surgeon. Sleeping with him? Knocking boots, horizontal hopscotch. Bumping uglies. Thank you, Chip. Point is, there wasn't a whole lot of sleeping going on. Turns out the road between patient to bed buddies isn't very long. How long did they know each other? Well, let's see. After the nose job she absolutely didn't need, then Botox for the crow's feet that I thought was sexy. Maybe two months? Yeah, I'm sorry. And all the Prozac and whatever the hell else she was taking, combined with the fact that I was gone, combined with the fact that doctor was whispering in ear the whole time, I guess we both just changed. And that's when DC was born. You mean reborn? No, he means born. My name is Ryan Parker. DC has nothing to do with my initials. What's DC? Well, my best friend called me that after I spent a year in divorce court. Yeah, that's so ugly. Not because of me, dude. I gave her everything. I don't know. I was there. It was a dog we argued over. She hated that thing until she knew I wanted him. It sucks. Yeah, anyway. Joint custody. Weekends and Christmas. <laughs> I doubt he'll be getting back up. That's nice. Well, unless we have to kill again. Well, what do you think he was doing out here alone? Maybe that was his friend dining on him. Doubt it. The one I shot his militia. Was left to this one civilian. Not that it. What the? His throat's been cut. Nobody move. This guy's wired. You think he was wired before? Looks like an IED. I doubt it was Hannibal the cannibal here, though. What's the point? Whatever it is, we fell for it. Slowly step away. Retrace your steps. Yeah, real slow. Incoming! Move, move, move! Actually, kind of nice. Humans shooting humans. Well, like the war I'm used to. Son of a card. Hey, DC, you okay? I think I picked up some strap. five and get a bearing. I'm gonna take one. Number one. Do you take a number one or do you leave a number one? Sounds like a personal decision. I'll leave it. Looks like we're coming up on some hostile territory. No, really? I thought this would be a great place for a summer home. There's no indication of this road on the map, but 
clear they used it for transport at one point. Yeah. Maybe there's an IHOP at the top of the hill. You know, what's your deal, huh? Whoa! Joker! Yeah, I know. It's a platter charge. Never deployed. How many of those have we walked by? Man, it's a Tupperware party from hell. All right, well, uh, let's very carefully retrace our steps and head back the way we came. Looks like this party's still in full swing. Where are you guys coming from? I was gonna hit a bomb. Hit it. Yes! Stop it! We gotta move! Hold your position unless you want to go kaboom! Guys, what are we gonna do? Topo! I'm open for suggestions, Joker! We gotta move! Alright, it's better than staying for dinner. Either way, this is gonna end bad. Just watch your steps! Derek Miller, and you shouldn't be on this road. Chances are there's roadside bombs on it. You don't say. You could have gotten yourself and us killed. Well, you wouldn't be complaining if I didn't show up when I did. The man's got a point. We know who you are. Your sister's with the rest of our unit. My sister? She's here? Looking for you. <laughs> I didn't think she'd come. Apparently, stupidity runs in the family. We had to save her. Albeit the same way you just saved us. I guess that makes us even. Yeah. Except you have no business being here. I'm helping to fund this thing. Why shouldn't I be here? Because you're gonna get yourself killed, Mr. Miller. Yeah? Huh? You guys wanna ride somewhere? Uh, not on this road. Come on! What we got? That was a way more effective. File a complaint. <laughs> what are you doing? What, you want to bleed out? You couldn't think of anything else. That would get him out. Let's see what we got. No! Yeah, that's it, Dave. Okay. You may want to leave this in. If you're out of your mind. If it hit an artery and I pull it out, you're screwed. I'll take my chances. All right. Better bear down, man. Wait, wait, what does that mean? Like you're having a baby or something. No, I don't know what that means. You know what? Just clump your butt cheeks. This is gonna hurt like a son of a. Ah! Ah! definitely an artery. Ah! Ah! If you bleed to death, I'm gonna be really pissed. Is that any better? No. We have a serious problem. Here, two armies. Don't get comfortable, don't sound like we're staying low. Anything else? Yeah, don't die. What do we got? That's our exit. Come on. Hey, that's the last thing I said. I'm not dead yet. Mm. You're gonna hate me, but we gotta move now. Okay. Hey, 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 look at me. Look at me! Do it for Carol. All right? 
You're all gonna die if you don't leave me behind. You're always so negative. Come on! Come on. Dusty, grab my packing gun. Go, stop being such a baby. You know I'm right. I didn't leave no man behind. Won't you listen to boot camp? Dusty, I didn't get within 10 feet, put a bullet in it. What do you know? I know this whole thing would be a little easier without the flesh-eating ghouls. I mean, what do you know about where you are, what your destination is, what you plan to do once you get there, Superman? Huh? I'm pretty sure I'm still in the Registan Desert. At least that's what the map says that I downloaded from Google Earth. Six-dollar compass may be cheap, but I uh, still point north. So my destination is a militia camp where I think they're hiding Bin Laden. And yes, he's still alive. So my plan is to kill him when I get there before we have to wait another 10 years. Although I'm thinking about bringing him in alive. I think the bounty on him would still be pretty good. We'd go a long way in paying for this expensive vacation of mine. I don't know how you guys got here, but my uh, coach ticket was 2,000 bucks. I haven't even heard of another bounty. I mean, most of the free world has no clue what's going on. Oh, well, that sucks. What makes you think he's still alive? You tell me that he's not? Truth is, we don't know. I know. How do you know that living in Colorado? Let me know if you want to talk about the $250 billion in bailout. That didn't do anyone any good. I got some thoughts on that one, too. Oh, I'm sure you do. How about we talk about this militia camp? Like, why you even think it's there to begin with? And why you think Bin Laden might be there? Get this off of a guy that obviously can't read anymore. Yeah, no question, this is intel on the militia camp. Well, who's there is anyone's guess, even we're guessing. You guys do that a lot. But, but you're trying, which is all anyone can ask. Look, the road that we're on was not on my map, okay? It's not on any maps, but it is on this one. So someone went to great lengths to cover it up. And my guess is that anyone that stumbled on this road would get a butt full of hello. Great name for a band. So it must be close to a town. No. No, there's no town on here. Where are all the civilian zombies coming from? Well, it's my personal opinion that they're making them. Well, we know they're making them, genius. No, I think they're bringing uninfected people into the camp. And they're holding on to them until they need them to eat people. I think the altitude has gotten to you, amigo. Most of them are prisoners. But I think some come willingly, you know, in the name of Allah. Suicide chompers. <laughs> Estás loco. You're crazy. Well, I mean, if you think about it, it's really no different than a woman walking into a crowded market with 10 kilos of C4 packed in her baby stroller. Makes sense to me. Well, not really, but why not send in a suicide bomber that has a bomb that doesn't just go off once, but over and over and over? So what makes you think Bin Laden might be there? What makes you think he isn't? That's the figure on that. Yeah. A little help here, buddy. We just gotta make it up that hill. Then what? Uh, I don't know. I'm not a cruise director. Uh, I can't feel my leg. It's because I got a six pack and ball of coke in it. No. I'm not gonna make it. Hey, remember that weekend? We came home from munitions training. Carol had all your stuff on tables in the front yard. Damn yard sale. It was all your stuff too. Oh. She had a price good. She sold my house. I need her boots. I bought three pairs of jeans. Oh, DC. Come on. DC. Parker. Get up, Parker. Get up, soldier. I can't. We're almost there. Come on. Come on. They're coming. What else is new? Shoot them. We're going to have to find some water if we're going to get this thing running again. Be in it. Ain't going to happen. I went an hour ago. Well, I'm empty. We leave it. Leave it? It's a perfectly good truck. Put a for sale sign on it. Somebody will come along. No, no, we wait around a bit. We'll find water. What do you want us to do, a rain dance? Hey, pack it up. I don't want to be here when it gets dark. We gotta at least take this gun. Oh, yeah, sure. 
As long as you want to carry it. Never mind. What? One here, one there. They weren't using them. Well, don't shoot yourself in the foot, Captain America. Don't shoot anyone in the foot. I gotta go in here and clear this, but I don't come back to fix your way. I promise. Okay? Oh my god. Let's go. Stay with me, buddy. I think I'd rather take my chances out of the open. I think you're right. Let's get out of here. for nothing, huh? All right, let's get your leg fixed. Come on. It's only, it's only your first time. Okay, just let me lay down. All right. There. We can do that. I really want my dog back. Zombies and insurgents. Flank out. Keep your eyes peeled. Lock and load. Shoot anything that's alive or zombified. What did the zombie eat after he got his teeth pulled? 
I don't know what. The dentist. <laughs> Shut your mouth. Might as well send up a flare while you're at it. Sorry. But you just gave me the best idea. I don't know if these things can smell. This is the best we can do for now. And then what? Then we go square. We come back for them. What are you going to do with these? He's right for blowing to his ex-wife. That ain't gonna happen. Oh. I carry this thing. There's movement down there. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Derek! Derek! I can't believe you're here! Derek! Woo! No! You're so stupid! Why doesn't it surprise me you're not wearing a shirt? I'm gonna have to borrow one. Give them a little taste of their own medicine. Anything that decides it needs a breath of fresh air, it will most certainly be its last. Again. Will you go grab that guy? The idea of a civilian covered in guns out here peeing by himself makes me a little nervous. Where would you like me to grab him? That's up to you, amigo. It's done okay this far? Well, I guess you can choose to be offended by that comment. Or you can see it as a gesture of caring that I don't want another American to die out here. Especially not under my watch. Thank you, then. Hey. Would you put those away? That one, too. Sorry. Hey, check this out. No question. Seems like a lot of extra effort. Pays off. I'm wearing DC stock tags to prove it. So they slit their throats, wire them up, open to draw on the opposition. When the booby trap doesn't work, they said in the second string they eat them. Sound right. We must be getting close to our objective. We'll make the final push at dawn. What are you doing here? What am I doing here? I'm doing what needs to be done. You need to come home. No. Yeah, I thought about for weeks what I was going to say to you when I found you. And I realized none of that really matters because you're stubborn. And no matter what anyone says to you, it's never going to change your mind. Remember when we were kids and the weatherman spoke about the wind chill factor? And you always thought he was talking about the wind shield factory. <laughs> <laughs> and you said it's always colder in the wind chill factory because it's in Alaska. <laughs> it is always colder in the wind chill factory. No matter what anyone says to you, you're never going to change your mind. If you want to do it for yourself, will you do it for me? If you care about me, will you come home? Because I care about you. I can't.
Are you okay? Are you? If you saw Derek, why didn't you stop him? I'm not his babysitter. He's a grown man. If he wants to get eaten, he can get eaten. I don't care if he doesn't value his own life, but he's gonna get us all killed. No offense, Dusty, but being this close, he's probably already dead. And if not, there'll be a ticker tape parade waiting for us when we get there. Let's go. I don't think he's dead. Stubborn. You're confusing stubborn with stupid. Jeez, Chapo, do you ever stop? Cut him some slack. He was never asked to a dance in high school. Still eats him up inside. So what's eating you, tomboy? I'd kill for an hour on the beach right now. Yeah. You like to rollerblade? Never been. I love rollerblading. I used to go every weekend back home. You know what the hardest thing about rollerblading is? Probably, uh, learning how to stop. It's telling your parents you're gay.
Stay or go. Stay or go. We're running short on time. We gotta get there before the airstrike. Move out. Dogs out. Derek's been here. Stay tight. Shoot anything on two feet. Joker, take big mama. Thought you'd never ask. I'm gonna flank the perimeter. See if I can find an opening. Chip, not a good idea. The sooner we secure the cave, the sooner we know exactly what we're dealing with. I'll find a radio and call HQ. It's a death sentence. I knew that when I enlisted. I'm coming too. Like hell you are. My brother might be there. Along with everything else. I'm coming. Their life. All right, don't be long. If our birds actually show up, we don't want to be anywhere near this place. I only need a few. Stay close. Let's give us some cover. Wake up, Big Mama. She's awake. صرف الأمريكيين مثل الكلاب سياح وسامة مايت وسامة مايت ولكن الله باركنا والغرب سيخسر الحرب الأمريكيين ارتبوا خطأ بسبب الكتاب مع الكعدس أن اقتلنا لن يتركون Strike, we have to leave now. This is the end of the cave, as far as I can tell. This is the 
classroom. And Tadna Lan Yetarakunako Ax Lazamakuliko Manaho Al Kada Ho Kawi Jitta. Who inshallah Yumkin Yumkin and Napon Aqua. The end. Yes, was some. Is it about to be executed? <laughs> Any last requests? Ask the chaplain. <laughs> sure, says the murderer. <laughs> Will you hold my hand? That was the worst joke I've ever heard. You're all bad. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna miss me too. <laughs> Damn you! He's right behind us. We have to go back. Get him. Oh, Dusty, there's no oh. time. The strike's coming now. It's just time to blow out the candles. Uh.
looking for. Go back to hell, you son of a bitch. Guys, we got a straggler. Shoot it, I'm too tired. You have got to be kidding me. Derek? 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 Oh. It's over. Was it worth it? <laughs> yeah, nothing left of the bastard. You gotta say I'm kind of jealous. Amen, brother. The man who did the deed. <sighs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm due for a leave. Yeah, I'll give you some time off. What are you doing the next couple of months? I'm available. I go to Alaska if you go. Alaska it is. You might have to wear a shirt. It's kind of cold out there. <laughs> the way he isn't coming with us, dude. I don't know. Derek, do you want to go? Please, no. I wouldn't mind seeing the windshield factory up there. <laughs> <laughs> 